Hey guys, it's me again. Doing the second video like I promised. Um, this video will focus on the sacral chakra, which is just above the root chakra. The root chakra and sacral chakra share a lot of the same roles, as you'll see, um, since they're so close to each other. But all the chakras are interconnected in how they transmute and excrete energy. They push down the negative until it reaches the root and then it's excreted. And the root brings up the positive, which then flows through the rest. And it's that positive energy that energizes the chakras and feeds the aura, which keeps us healthy. Now, because all the chakras are connected and because the sacral and root are so close, as I was saying, they share a lot of the same responsibilities. One of the major responsibilities that they share is the excretion of negative energy. The sacral stores the negative, forces it down into the root, and the root excretes. Now, a lot of the negative emotions we experience end up in the sacral. Resentment, jealousy, anger, things like that get stored there before being put into the root and passed out. If the sacral's blocked, they can't get passed out, and so the blockage continues to grow up through the other chakras, leading in a state of total just not feeling happy, not feeling complete or whole, feeling unable to receive love. I know that most people would think the heart chakra is related to love, but our ability to receive love and to give love unconditionally starts in the sacral. The sacral is where that comes from. That energy moves up into the solar plexus and then into the heart chakra where we can express love fully and completely, but it begins in the sacral. The sacral chakra is depicted as a six orange petal lotus flower with a crescent moon in its center. The moon represents water and that is the element of this chakra. Water has a strong association with the sacral since water represents our emotions. It also represents our attunement again with our higher consciousness, our higher self, because the crescent moon depicts our higher state, our higher being, gifts if you will, and psychic gifts usually relate to the element water. Um, the chakra can really help you experience that blissful feeling, really help you receive love. When the shock when the chakra is blocked, it can result in feelings of anger that transcend up through us completely until anger we just feel so angry we just lash out and become violent. It's why this chakra deals with relationships and aggression because in its negative aspect it makes us very undesirable as as a lover as a mate a partner whatever you want to call it because those are traits we don't want in the people we love right we want them to love us fully and wholeheartedly we want their unconditional love we want their support well if the chakras block they can't give us that because they can't receive love and if they can't receive love they can't give love because love works both ways Energy never flows in one direction. It always flows in two directions, to and fro. If that exchange cannot happen, then there's disharmony and imbalance, and it results in chaos. If we give, 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 we will burn out. If all we do is take, eventually there's nothing left to take, right? With this chakra, it 
it's best to meditate near water of some kind. I wanted to meditate outside today. Unfortunately, I can't do that because it's raining. But I'm in my altar room next to my aquarium with my angelfish and my guppies and my algae eater. And they're giving me my inspiration for the sacral today. So if you're like me and you can't get outside or if you don't live close to a body of water, a bowl of water, an aquarium, anything really will help you. A little itchy there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so before we move on to the meditation, I know my last video was a little long and I don't want this one to be as long as that one because 26 minutes was pretty lengthy, but that's because I had to do two topics into one and sometimes I get away with myself. I just talk and talk and talk and don't realize how long I've been talking for. Um, you will need though for this meditation an orange stone. I'm using tangerine quartz today. Uh, orange will activate the sacral. If you want to calm the sacral down, a nice blue stone that embodies water like aquamarine would be best. Now if you remember from the previous video, Sapphire is used to calm the root chakra if it's overactive. And that's also a blue stone. Do you see how connected the root and sacral are? The same colors have the same effect on both of them. It's just amazing how everything interconnects. Um, before we move on to the meditation though, I want to go over the negative health effects that can arise from a blocked or underactive sacral chakra. The underactive chakra or block chakra can result in tumors in the bladder, urinary tract infection, irritable bowel syndrome, diseases of the genitals, and malabsorption diseases of the small intestine or disorders of the small intestine. Now those are all things we'd rather not want or try to avoid and they're easy to if we work on the sacral chakra. Now, I'm going to take my stone like I did before. I'm going to place it in my receptive hand and I'm going to hold it or place it right in the groove of my pants and my shirt, right by where my sacral should be. Now, I'm keeping this hand free today because In truth, with the root, it had to be lower, so my, I left my hand there, but after a while that gets uncomfortable, and I'm sorry if it got uncomfortable for you guys as well, but with the sacral, the hand doesn't have to be so low and not resting in one place for so long, and the stone can pretty well hold itself there if you've got pants and a shirt on. So I want us to begin again by sacred breathing. We're going to be doing three cycles. Let's begin. Cleansed and calm, relaxed feeling. Hope you guys are feeling good too. Now, we'll begin by closing our eyes. And focusing 
upon the sacrum. Now remember, it's just above the pu pubic area and just below the navel. So we'll focus there. We'll focus on that murkiness again that we did for the root chakra and see this orange light beginning to appear. And we'll see that murkiness push down, deep, deep down into the root chakra. Remember the root chakra, it's fully open now. It's that beautiful four petaled lotus with a golden center. And when the root's going to excrete that negativity that was blocking our sacral. It's going to put it deep, deep down into the earth. So push it through those roots. Push it deep, deep down. That blockage is now gone. Push it down into the earth where it will be transmuted into positive energy. And with your roots, bring up the positive energy. Feel it flow and fill into the root chakra. See the energy, bright, vibrant red. Feel that primal energy. Bring it up, up into the sacral, to the orange light, which turns into a bud. That bud then grows bigger and bigger, orange energy coursing through it. And if it helps you, visualize yourself breathing in some orange energy. Placing it down into your sacral chakra. And feel the, sh the sh sacral chakra just opening up, expanding and blossoming into a beautiful six-petaled orange lotus with a crescent moon in the center. That is just gorgeous, isn't it? Feel happy and content. Focus on that beautiful orange energy. Let it fill you. Let go of all anger, all jealousy, all resentment, all violence. Just push that down into the root and excrete it into the earth. Greet it. Now that it's gone, bring up some energy through your roots into your root chakra. Again, see it glow a beautiful, vibrant red for the root chakra. Bring it back up into the sacral chakra and see that beautiful orange just glowing and glittering away. Embrace this feeling. Just be in the moment. Enjoy bliss. When you feel completely blissful and content, you can stop. I'm going to stop right now because I'm feeling pretty good. And if you're like me, sometimes, like right now, especially with strong emotions like bliss, it's a powerful energy, I feel a little lightheaded. If you feel a little lightheaded, before you begin your meditations, which I forgot to do today, you can place some grounding stones under each of your feet, stones like black tourmaline or red jasper, things that really help ground us, that are good for any stone that's good to activate the root chakra and that has grounding energy, is good to place under the feet, under each foot while you're doing these meditations and bringing up this energy so we don't get that lightheaded feeling and so we stay grounded. I hope you guys enjoyed this meditation and I hope it helps you open your chakras, live in the now, and experience and receive that unconditional love and bliss that you deserve because you are worthy and you are worth it. Blessed be, guys. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Next video will be on the solar plexus. Blessed be.